Yeah. How you feel yeah. sitting in Alex seat? Boy, please. You don't, even, <laughs> you don't even know the password to that computer. You don't know the first thing to do when you sit over there. You gonna press the wrong button to answer the phone if it rings. Be quiet, the man. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Alex? To the best boss, best dad. I mean, I've said it before, but I can say it for sure now. We're in the office where I can really feel exactly how I feel as far as who you are when it comes to our youth. My goodness, dope foster father. A dope father essentially here to our youth. They really don't know how hard you go to try to preserve this program, to try to make sure that there's always funding, whether it's gas in the vans, whether it's keeping the van, whether it's keeping sodas and snacks here, whether it's being able to provide a way for us to have a field trip to go and get experiences that they desperately need. Thank you. Thank you for always being open to the crazy ideas that your staff comes up with as far as exposing our youth to different opportunities in their lives. You are a dope person, and whenever you feel like you ain't, rewind this tape. Ooh. Oh yeah! <laughs> you put a game down and then we break the stick. You looking super fly and dapper. Yup. All right. What's up, Alex? It's Kevin, and uh, I wanted to take the time out today to thank you and let you know that I appreciate everything you do for the community, and all of us here, and we love you, man. Have a good day. Uh, what's up, Alex, man? I uh, just I wanted to congratulate you on your award today, and then uh, you really mean a lot uh, to this community, and then I just want to thank you for everything that you have done so far. All right, have a great day. I want to say I really appreciate everything you do for us, not only me, but for everybody who comes in all the time. And I love you with all my heart, and I'm really grateful for everything you've done for me, even though, you know, it wasn't a lot, but it's a lot that for, it's a lot that you do for me that I appreciate, and I love you for it. Have a good day I just want to say thank you for everything you did die for us and you deserve this work. Have a great day. That's what we do, man. Hey man, I see you help me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just hold on for that sunshine. Yeah, just hold on for that sunshine. Yeah, just hold on for that sunshine. Yeah, listen, I know you stressing, feeling low, but you're gonna be alright. Cause best believe God is good, you'll make it through the night. Just hold on for that sunshine. Yeah, just hold on for that sunshine. Yeah. Listen, I'm so obsessed with my dreams that I can't sleep at night And know my past is full of darkness, I still see the light The type of father teach his son to treat a woman right So when he find himself a queen, she could be his wife That's how it's... The next award will go to Alex Brunel <laughs> Ali Han, let's go! <laughs> woo, woo, woo. <laughs> As an expert... Okay. <laughs> Squad. As an expert facilitator mediator in the subject matter area of mediation and conflict resolution, Alex provides conflict resolution training in various community outreach sectors and at-risk populations such as juvenile justice and foster parenting. Just with our great honor that we honor you with our Legacy Builder Award for 2019. All right! Yeah. Let's go! Check is in the mail. <laughs> Thank you. I'm honored, I'm humble, and any other H, I can think of a word that I forgot. Um, I'm gonna make this short. I'm gonna, it's gonna be the fastest 30 minutes you'll ever <laughs> Oh man, I just realized I gotta wear my glasses. <laughs> All right, here we go. Making an impact, not just an impression. My mom was my first impression. She worked over 20 something years as a maid. She raised a daughter that was mentally retarded. She raised a son who was hard headed as hell. Yeah. I saw my mom go to work every day. I saw her provide, cook, clean. She didn't complain. She never badmouthed my father. She just, or she did, she hit it well. I badmouthed my father and I sucked at it, hiding it well. 
But watching her, she just kept working, kept grinding. And there were times in my life when I wasn't the perfect son and I was a horrible son to her. But her impression just kept sticking with me. And I just kept going. And you know, I had a praying grandmother and I had a praying mother, you know, a light, candlelight lighting, holy water throwing, <laughs> St. Christopher going, that kind of mom. But she never gave up on me. She should have, but she didn't. Her impression made me who I am, but I wanted more. I was out there in the streets looking for something, but I didn't know what it was. I wanted to make an impact with my family, my friends, the community, and this world. But there was a time when I used to think, is my job, is my parenting, leaving my phone open for 24 hours for people to call me, my stress, my work, giving money to people, praying for people, dropping knowledge to people, my loyalty for people, the foster parenting for people, will it all go in vain? Am I really making a difference? Because, you know, when we're going through this process of helping people, we don't know we're making a difference. We don't do it for it. We just do it because it, it's, it's, a, it's our calling. But it just gets to the point sometimes we have to ask ourselves, are we really making a difference? I want to know that everything that I've ever invested in, you know, is it going to come back? Am I going to be able to see it? Am I going to be alive to be able to see it? Ladies and gentlemen, those who came here today and support me, uh, those who I've ever helped, those who I consider friends and family, those who I've ever broke bread with, you came to my house or I came to your house, do me a favor, could you please stand up? I pray that you have an impact in every area of your life. As for me, I'm trying to make the last part of my life the best part of my life. I'm living my best life. All right. All right. Thank y'all. This certificate says, in honor and sincere recognition of Alex Bernal, for outstanding dedication, service, and invaluable contributions for the third annual NAACP Black History Month Legacy Builder Awards, your commitment and championing for the removal of barriers of racial discrimination identify you as an exemplary individual. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm with that. How long? Joe with that work. Take two. Salut, Monsieur Alex. Et je suis ici aujourd'hui en séjourné et de te dire que on a fait beaucoup de choses dans cette dans cette communauté et et on est simplement venu de te dire merci. <laughs> At the program, though? Mind blown. Joe! Now, let me tell you a little something about yourself, sir. Oh. Do your parents speak French at home? Yeah. Okay, so you speak French at home? Yeah. Do not ever <clears throat> lose that.